Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Rebecca and we live in Okinawa, Japan. So our videos for the next at least two and a half more years will be here in Japan. Um, we like to go places and see things. However, right now that's kind of hard to do because we're stuck at home. So I thought, well, we'll just do a home video and show everybody where we live and show them all the plants. So that's what today's video is going to be about. And I hope you enjoy it as much as we do and welcome to our home. our daughter's room um, it's probably my least favorite room in the house just because it's not really finished I want to do a few things I want to paint the bookshelf and uh, buy a rug and I think we're gonna upgrade the bed to a larger size so don't judge us too harshly <laughs> So, and then this is Hunter's office also. So this is where he works from home and tends to his fish tank and um, obviously plays video games. But um, if you know any way to make this look any better, please leave me a comment below because hiding a crate is almost impossible it seems. So this is the spare room. It is what it is. Um, I do love this little plant corner over here. They get good sunlight and also, if you zoom in, I have a new baby coming in. Let's move on to the kitchen. My also least favorite room in the house. Because I don't like to cook. But that's why I married my husband, because he's a great chef. <laughs> so Here's our cooking space and actually, um, our kitchen is pretty big for a Japanese style kitchen, um, which this isn't really Japanese style because we have a full size dishwasher um, and we have an American stove and oven and in normal Japanese uh, homes, they have a fish oven and it's like this big and you pull it out and you put two fish in there and it's more like a convectional oven. They don't really have a full size oven. So when we picked this place, I was really thankful that we had a spot to rent this from Kadena to get an oven. So I love that. Let's move on to the back of the house. Okay, this is just a small um, bathroom or toilet room. It's not really, um, a bathroom because there's no bath in it so but this is the shower room this is my enjoy pothos she had one more leaf earlier today and then she got whacked with Anna's tail and the leaf fell off and it was actually one that I had just unfurled this week so I wasn't really happy about that but that's okay. She is so beautiful. She loves all this sunlight right here and I hope eventually she just drapes down the side um, and looks just incredibly full and luscious. I can't wait. 
So over here, this is one of my favorite plants in the entire world. Um, it is a mini monstera, is what they call it. And she will vine, she will grow, and she will be happy. She wants to take over your house, and that's okay. I'm, I'm probably gonna let her. So, this is a new leaf right here. I can't wait to watch that unfurl. I really wanna do some time-lapse videos on these leaves because they're incredible the way they just unroll themselves and become beautiful this is a new one that we got just last week so pretty these leaves are gorgeous okay over here we have a watermelon peperomia plant and she's so funky and I love it. All of her leaves are different and they jiggle. And I like that. I like that she moves a lot. I think it's so cool the way this plant looks. And actually these are blooms right here. And we've got some more blooms coming out. I'm so excited. Over here on the kitchen table, we've got a donkey tail or also known as a burrow's tail i think he's so cool anna also whacked one of his whole stems off and i believe it was this one or maybe it was this one um and i stuck it back in the dirt and i hope he lives another day we shall see uh this is a succulent so it doesn't require a lot of water but he does like sunshine which he does get right here um because these plants are pretty close to the window so this is a zebra plant um it's a like a whitewash zebra plant and he's fun i like him he's got lots of babies some of my plants are boys some of my plants are girls you know some of them <laughs> i call him a him some of them i call him a she that's fine but i've got babies down here at the bottom and i actually use an app to keep up with my plants called planta <laughs> feel free to sponsor me by the way and um they told me that this was rated as one of the harder plants and i'm really excited that i've only lost one leaf since i had it and i'm not really sure why but the rest of it looks okay this is a hoya carnosa i think um also known as a crimson princess and it's so cool some of these leaves have pink on them and some of these leaves are white and some are green some are like variegated i just think it's so cool i love the variegation in this plant so so cool so and then let's move on here's my palm acrasia acrasia palm i'm not really sure how you pronounce it but she's thriving she loves all the sunlight she is a happy plant so moving on to the bedroom this is my variegated peace lily and i love 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 it look at these leaves y'all it's just incredible i just i can't get over the variegation in this plant i've only seen them in the states with green leaves and I think they're pretty too. Peace lilies have always been one of my favorite plants. But I've never seen one like this until I moved here. So beautiful. This is my Philodendron Moonlight. She's so pretty. I haven't repotted her yet. Um, I just haven't been out to get a pot because we're trying to stay home. So she will live in this nursery pot for a while. I believe these are some aerial roots. I just got it, so I haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but I do love how beautiful she is. And we've got some new leaves coming out soon. So I can't wait for that. These are just cuttings from some of my pothos that I have in the house in my Shisa cup that I got from one of the restaurants here. Um, and I just put them in water and they've grown all these roots. 
Now I did take one of them out of the dirt and put it in here because I heard that um, if you put pothos cuttings in with other plants that you're trying to propagate, <clears throat> that it will help them to root faster. So uh, I took it out and put it in with some of the cuttings just to see if that was the case. Um, and I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I did it anyway. This got knocked off while I was repotting um, that mama basket plant. I don't know if this will ever grow roots or not. It's been in here a really, a really long time. And so far there's no sign of roots. But what's really cool is this plant or this leaf right here. You see these roots? These are from my Kalanchoe humulus, or also known as my Desert Surprise. Um, I stuck these leaves in here, and they're rooting, and that is so, so cool. So excited about that. I like to propagate so that I can um, give away plants to my friends, because I think that's so fun. So, and in the bathroom, I have a Sansevieria, and he was the first plant that we brought home, and actually, my friend Jesse gave him to me, and she named him Jeremy. So, Jeremy stays in the bathroom, and he's happy. He gets lots of light from the windows in here. Um, I also have this Pothos, which is not dead, but she's not thriving. So, it's been a long story with this one. Also, I have a spider plant in here and I can't wait for it to make babies and hang off the side. I think they're so cool with the babies hanging off the sides. Okay, and right here I have a rabbit's foot fern. And when I show you, you'll be able to see why. My friend Naily, she says they look like tarantulas and they really kind of do. But the fronds grow off of these roots that are fuzzy, which I think are so cool. And I love it. It's such a unique plant. And I think it's so cool. And over here we've got a stromanthi. And I saved this plant from the nursery. Uh, it looked really sad. It had a lot of dead leaves on it. So I brought it home, cut the dead leaves off, and I'm trying to bring it back to life, and I think it looks okay. These are also known as prayer plants. So when the sun starts going down, the leaves all start to stand up straight. And then during the day when the sun comes out, they all uh, go down, which is really cool the way this plant moves like that. So, and then over here, I have some babies of my polka dot begonia, and they're thriving. They look beautiful, and I can't wait for them to get bushy. Okay, this is our porch, and I love our porch. Um, it's my safe space. So, I just want to talk about some of my plants for a minute. This is my calico kitten. Um, she's beautiful. This is a Neurogelia. This is a Coleus, an arrowhead plant. Um, these are boat lilies, are also known as oyster plants. Um, this is a cotton candy fern that I thought I killed, and you can kind <laughs> of see um, the brown pieces on the edge. Um, I, I don't think I was watering it enough as it needed to be but now i've started feeling like i'm over watering it but i think it's getting happy because i'm getting some new fronds in here you can see them uh so i feel like new growth is always okay no matter what your plant looks like if it's growing you're doing something so this is my desert surprise and i also have a larger version of this one um this one i propagated this is a basket plant, and actually these plants turn a little bit of purple, if you can see, um, when they get lots of sunlight. 
So this is my uh, chain of hearts or string of hearts. I'm sorry. And I just found it and I actually thought that they didn't have these on the island, but um, I found this and I was really excited about it and I only paid 398 yen for it and I'm super pumped about that. These are a string of pearls that I propagated and this is just a little propagation for my um, donkey tail. And then if you look up here, this is my string of pearls. She has seen better days because she did really great until I overwatered it and I actually overwatered it when I repotted it and if I put it in a plastic pot and that was my fault because it just didn't drain the way it needed to and I, I like terracotta pots personally because they aerate the soil a little more and let the soil dry out uh, so hopefully he'll be happy in there fingers crossed because if not I'm buying another one and I won't make the same mistake twice so uh, this is a croton and this is actually a um, not the normal ones that you would see every day with the wide leaves uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called but I will link all of my plants below um, in the comments so this is a good luck plant and I love it because she's got these pretty pink um, pieces on her and I love that. And this is my polka dot begonia. I'm really excited about it. She's also um, an angel wing begonia, some people call them an angel wing. I love the polka dots because they look like, they were just splattered on there. They don't look natural to me and I think that's so, so cool. Okay, and also and right here we've got Mother of Thousands and she's really flourishing and you see all these little babies that are growing on the outside of the leaves. <clears throat> uh, we had a storm the other night and the wind gets kind of strong out here and it came through and blew a lot of the babies off but you can see them down here in the pot and these will eventually all grow roots and you might can see some of the roots on some of them. Sorry, it gets kind of loud out here. Um, but it's really cool. This plant has absolutely flourished and I'm gonna have to repot her because uh, she's outgrowing this pot, but I love it. This is my mama aloe plant. She is beautiful. I got a really good deal on her from a friend of mine that is a local here on the island. Um, I mean, what more can I say than look at this aloe plant i mean my goodness she's huge and so gorgeous i also have this aloe plant that i nursed back to health uh, my friend got her from a girl on facebook and she paid ahead for it um, and the girl said okay you can pick it up in two weeks and she went and picked it up and the girl hadn't been taking care of it so um, she gave it to me and I tried to nurse it back to health and it's taken a long time, but I think we're there. I think we're finally there. This is the mama of my Desert Surprise, um, which is also known as a uh, uh, Kalanchoe humulus. And you can see right here, um, I pruned it back because these actually get blooms on them and they're tall and wispy and they were nice for a while but I got tired of them so I cut them back. And you can see all the new growth on all of the um, little bundles of leaves and I think that's just so cool. Don't be afraid to cut your plants back because they will push out new growth and be even fuller. And then down here is a crown of thorns and she's really happy she has lots of blooms um, and you can see her huge thorns and I think that's so cool um, this plant literally requires nothing you water it like every once in a blue moon and you give it lots of sun and she thanks you for it and I love that 
This is my favorite pot in the whole world. Also, there's a bone over there. <laughs> we live here. Um, this is a bird's nest snake plant. Um, also known as a Hanmi Sansevieria, I think. And I have some babies coming in here in the back. Um, behind it, there's two babies. One right here and one right here. And I'm really excited about that. This is my mama basket plant. Okay, before you look at her, she looks rough. I know. So I repotted her. She did not like that. She did not like being repotted. But, so I need to cut these back and I will probably do that after this video. But she has 11 babies. And so what happens with the basket plant is they grow these little babies off the side and they look like this and um, eventually, oh, actually you can see one. Wow, I haven't noticed this yet. There's aerial roots growing on, can you get around here so we can see the, so right here you can see, let me see if I can show you. There's aerial roots that grow on these babies and all I have to do is cut this off and stick it in dirt and it'll grow to look like this. And there's 11 babies on here. They grow off the stalk, they grow from the roots. She's just thriving, even though I know she looks like she is not, but she is. So I'm really excited about that. This is one that I propagated um, right after I got the plant. It was uh, hanging over the side of my mama plant and it was a lot smaller and cut it off I stuck it in a pot and it outgrew it so I put it in this pot and it's looking good I hope that it puts out some babies this summer uh, during the growing season this is my bird's nest fern and she is beautiful I love her she has a new frond coming up right here and you can see it getting ready to uncurl I'm really excited about that and there's one coming in down here too in the very bottom that you might be able to see. These are also babies from my Sansevieria honey um, that was in my elephant pot. This I got from a dear friend uh, also. It is a Monstera Addisonii, and these will trail. These will grow up, these will grow down, these will grow wherever you train them to grow, and that's so cool. And I've got a baby coming out right here. I love spring, so many new babies. Okay, this is a Lady Valentine. <laughs> this was one of the first plants that I got when we moved in and I fried it. I stuck it outside, I didn't really read about it and it did not like the sunshine. I literally left it out for two days and the whole plant was brown and fried. It looked like somebody had <laughs> put a magnifying glass with the sun to this plant. I felt so bad, I only had like three leaves left and it's finally making a comeback because I've left it in the shade and I give it plenty of water. So, I'm really glad about that. This is some sort of a ficus tree and I know it looks kind of sad. I don't know why he's not very happy. Um, I don't know if I'm not giving him enough water. So, if maybe you know why he's so droopy, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to do some research and figure out why he doesn't look very happy. This right here is a diamond frost and she was one of the first plants I also got when we moved in. I wanted something to put outside our gate, uh, which is where she is. And I feel like she likes it here and she's a pretty easy plant. I don't really have much to say about it other than these look like little flowers. Uh, the white flower type things you see on the end, but actually their leaves are red. So I think that's pretty cool how they grow white on the ends and make it look like a flower even though it's not. 